Bonjour, mon ami est repris. Uh, je ne parle pas français. <laughs> so I spent two years learning French in high school and I, 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 all I remember is I do not speak French. So I will not talk in French and butcher French, so let's keep this in English. Um, I work for CloudBees um, along with Kosuke and Stephen and others uh, like Nicola. And I look at uh, Jenkins Enterprise and for those who do not know what Jenkins Enterprise is, uh, we are building these set of proprietary plugins that sit on top of Jenkins that we think uh, help Jenkins in the enterprise, help administrators in the enterprise environment. And along with that, we, we offer support. So in the last release that we had, we released this feature called templates, which I was particularly enthusiastic about. And uh, uh, the rest of the talk talks about what templates are, what are the types of templates. And I'll just give, walk through a, you know, two quick samples of showing how to build these templates. Um, there are three ways to think of templates. And uh, uh, the first one is what I call parley vu uh, which is um, as a Jenkins administrator and as you look at templates, there are two ways to think about it. One is with the administrator hat, which uh, in typical Kosuke's examples, it's Bob is the administrator and Alice is the user. So you're looking at these two roles. And uh, when you're building something, um, when Alice is building something, um, creating a new job, she goes and onto the Jenkins screen, sets new jobs, and she sees a whole list of options and she goes in and fills those. Now the problem here is that this is not the domain specific language of Alice. She is sort of now looking at you know, entirely new sets of things and she may go in and misconfigure things and then Bob has to come in and sort of help debug. Um, what uh, templates do is sort of capture sort of domain specific information uh, so that you know, users only see the portion that they care about. Um, does what you end up doing is shielding uh, plain vanilla Jenkins users from the overall complexity of you know, configuring jobs. Um, uh, sorry, I, I took the liberty. I figured that it's lunch and everybody's bored seeing slides, so I'll at least put some fun in and get Star Wars in. So the, the second part of looking at Jenkins uh, templates is um, it kind of captures the sameness across jobs. Now, a lot of jobs within an organization, you know, are usually sort of different from other jobs in only, you know, few minor things. Perhaps you're pointing to a different type of, um, you know, Git repository, uh, repository branch or your sort of credentials are slightly different. Now, what templates do is sort of help you capture that. So you'll create a job with, with a template and from there on, when you create new jobs, it just inherits those things. And now, when you go back and uh, let's say <clears throat> you want to change some configuration, you go back to the top level template and you change it, all the jobs that were instantiated from this template automatically reflect all the th uh, changes that you've made. So it makes the life of Bob, the administrator, much easier. So he just gives these you know, template to his admin, uh, to Alice, she creates a particular job and uh, when Bob wants to change something, he changes it and it automatically is reflected in um, Alice's job. Uh, the next one is what I call sort of the Luke Skywalker quick route to success. Now with Luke, what happened is he didn't really have to spend a uh, few years in the Jedi school learning uh, how to be a, uh, a Jedi, he, he essentially uh, went to Yoda, spent like a few months and he was a Jedi, right? So where I'm getting at this is, this is uh, templates allow you to write plugins without actually having to write plugins. So it, you know, you can set up stuff very quickly, you know, have features like plugins. Now granted in a number of, you know, cases, uh, you have to write plugins, but a large variety of cases you can just uh, capture th through templates and create those and you don't really have to go in and code in Java. So it, it, it's kind of easy that way. There are four types of templates. Um, at the bottom level, and it's a hierarchy. Oh, wow. 
I see Wookie here already. <laughs> All right. So at the bottom level is uh, an auxiliary template. And what you can think of this is sort of in a class, it's attributes. So you define certain attributes, perhaps how do you contact a particular um, you know, database. And you take this chunk of attributes and put it in other templates as you build them. And uh, um, you can use this as a data point. The next level up is a builder template, which allows you to create sort of the builder steps for uh, where you kind of go in and do an add build step. Uh, the, the next level up is a job template, which now takes it you know, one level higher. So you create new jobs out of those templates. And the last one is folder templates. So as Kosuke announced earlier, we released our, uh, the CloudBees folder plugins in, in the community today. And uh, what it, the folder allows you to do is sort of build these nested hierarchies where, um, where each job is namespace aware. So job A in folder A is different than job A in folder B. So you know, it helps you capture that um, hierarchy. And what the folder template does is uh, allows you to create templates of folders and you can have nested folders inside them and have jobs within them and have job templates within them. So let's say a new uh, group or new team is coming up and is setting up new project. You can just now give them the folder and they instantiate from, that fol uh, from the folder template and they would have all the jobs instantiated uh, underneath it. Uh, creating this is fairly simple. Um, you s see templates sit at the top level of, of the Jenkins dashboard and um, you see these four options. So I'll sort of get to the next slide. Um, here's an example of uh, building uh, a builder. So at the, at the left hand side, what you see is I, I have a job type, uh, a build step type called wake up someone. And uh, when I click that, um, I am given this domain specific sort of language where I just enter certain information that's critical to the job. And when I run that job, um, and this one is taking who am I waking up and who set the alarm. And when I set that up, what ends up happening is when I run the job, uh, I see this output and alarm is thrown to me. So I, I was just creating a simple alarm system. Now to create something like this, what you end up doing is um, when you create a new builder template type, you define sort of the variables that you want to use within your space. You define the type of the variable. So is it a text field or checkbox or you know, some other things. You define the inline help that should show up when somebody's clicking on things. And then in most typical you know, uh, builder steps, you essentially are running some shell scripts that are taking, you know, doing some custom steps. So what uh, uh, templates do is allow you to run a transformer. So here I have, I have a groovy template plus you know, shell script, which takes the variables that I've defined and writes, you know, writes a shell script out of that. So when I run the job, this shell script um, sort of you know, uh, uh, replaces these variables in and that's run. Fairly simple to, as you can see, to add a build step. Um, the sa same way, uh, the next one is jobs. And uh, within, Within the job template type, you know, assuming you've created a job template, and again, taking the wake up job example, you s start seeing a new job type coming here called wake up job on the left hand side. You can actually configure it so, uh, such that it sort of shows a custom message instead of build now, so your users can know exactly what they're doing, right? In this case, they're setting a wake em up alarm. And on the left hand side out here, Again, it's taking those domain specific things that I talked about. So who am I waking up? In this case, who is waking somebody up? It's Neo who's waking Trinity up. And uh, you see the output on, on the console. Um, so building a job template is somewhat uh, a little more involved than uh, building the builder type that we saw earlier. But again, um, Again, what you see here is on the left-hand side, it's uh, the fields that you want uh, in your job type. And uh, here what you have is you sort of had the model and you now need to take this job model and transform that into an XML 
that Jenkins understands. And uh, you actually have to type this XML in. Um, the, the good part of, about it is the way you most typically create a, a template like this is you'll create a sample job that you want to model for your users and you just you know copy paste that here and replace the appropriate things that need sort of replacement with the variables. So it's fairly easy, you just copy that, you create a job, copy the template and replace the variables in. And in the end, when you create the new job, this script, Jenkins script is run. So with that, sort of I come to the end of, you know, how you can sort of build some couple of templates. So uh, ending on the Star Wars themes, um, um, may the force be with you as you use templates. Right. Thank you.